All right. Okay. So um, this part for this video. All right. So we'll now go to the different staining methods. Okay, for acid fast staining. So we'll start first with Zeal Nielsen. You have next your Kenyun. Next you have your Oravine Rhodamine, and finally you have modified acid fast staining. Okay. Now we'll start first with the um, Zeal Nielsen staining or your hot methods. Sana all hot. Okay. So um, now we'll go to the different reagents. Okay. All right. So first is of course your carbol fuchsin. That is your primary stain, meaning the first stain that we apply, and then we'll apply that for about ten minutes. Okay. And next is your heat. That is why it's called hot method. Okay. Mugamit ang heat. Okay. And what is the purpose of the heat? That's your more than because again that allows the murag the cell wall to open. Okay. Um, para murag maaccept sa mycolic acids ang imuhang stain. Murag muna siya point sa heat. Okay. So heat again serves as your more than until steaming or metallic sheen appears. So Usually, uh, mag-stain ta sa ilalim sa slide, um, ato na siyang paagian ng alcohol lamp until na ay steaming or metallic sheen na mo appear. That's your more done. Okay. Now, after more done, um, you put acid alcohol, of course, or 25% sulfuric acid, okay? And that serves as your decolorizer for about 3 minutes. And finally, your counter stain, um, your secondary stain, your methylene blue or malachite green. Now, methylene blue, again, if methylene blue, your non-acid fast organisms may appear blue and malachite green, green. Now, if you don't have carbol fuchsin, according to Gregorius, okay, your book sa histotechniques, you can use night blue. Ayan. Night blue daw as a, an alternative to carbol fuchsin. So, if ang question, what can be used as an alternative to carbol fuchsin and acid fast staining? It's night blue. Okay. That's according to Gregorius. All right. Okay. Okay, so again, these are the different reagents. Kano ganing hot method ang Zeal Nielsen? Kay lami siya. Joke lang, joke. Hot method because, again, ang mordant niya is heat. Okay, alright. Ayan, so again, same. If reagent is wala, none, of course. Wala so, makikibutang na color, so none. Okay, now for um, next, carbol fuchsin, of course, both of them color red because they first accept. Basta gani, first reagent pa lang or first stain, i-accept yun nila. So both of them, uh, have the same color. Now, for heat, still the same, just a more than, to lara maput siya change or something, just to strengthen the relationship between the cells and the first stain or primary stain. So, same color, gyapon, color red. And then, followed by your decolorizer, of course, dili na mo siya mo differ. Acid fast because of the mycolic acid content in their cell wall. Dili nila dayon mabui an ang um, carbol fuchsin. Therefore, pag apply ni mo sa acid alcohol, remains red. Whereas for non-acid fast, walay, um, uh, walay mycolic acids sa ilahang um, cell wall, walay makagunit sa carbol fuchsin. Therefore, pag apply sa acid, dili sila paspas mugunit sa carbol fuchsin. Therefore, wala, nawala ilahang color. Okay? Alright. And uh, pag apply ni mong counter stain, since still the same, acid fast, strong naman na relationship with carbol fuchsin. Bahalag na pag third or fourth party. Oh, grabe, nagyod ka cheater ng... Woo! Okay, third or fourth party. Wow. Methylene blue or malachite green. If I apply na siya sa acid fast organism, strong na ilang relationship with carbol fuchsin, dili na siya matablan. Therefore, it stains... It remains color red. Okay, so therefore, your acid fast organisms is... are color red. And, of course, since ang imuhang... Acid, uh, imuhang non-acid fast organism, yes, naka-move on na siya from carbol fuchsin because of acid alcohol. Nagbulag na po sila sa acid alcohol. So, naanay yung mga new love interests. Grabe, duha dyan ka po. Methylene blue or malachite green. Therefore, iyang i-take up either of the two kung sa manggani ang gigamit or, or kung kinsa manggani ang naabot una, char. So, it can appear as color blue or green. Depende again sa counter stain na yung butang. Pero most of the time, we use methylene blue. So therefore, non-acid fast organisms usually are color blue or color green. So pwede siyang sure or cause. Charot naman. Okay, alright. Ayan, that's for Zeal Nielsen staining. I hope na-gets rin siya ha? Okay, alright. Next, we now go to Kenyon staining. Now, ang difference na sa Kenyon staining um, is known as your cold method. Ang um, difference lang is um, the mordant. Okay? Ang mordant na gagamit ng instead of heat, we use tergitol, which is a wetting agent. So, medyo cold siya. Ayan. So, kung inyong conversation sa inyong crush or sa inyong uyab, medyo cold na, imo ingro na, unsa naman ni na? Kinyun method na bata? Char? <laughs> With that to, no? Okay, alright. Na Kinyun method na bata? Because it's cold na. Okay, alright? So, tergitol ato ang um, 
ato ang mordant. So it's a wetting agent nagi incorporate na siya sa primary stain, which is your carbofuxin. And your carbofuxin po can increase concentration of phenol. Okay, but as you can see, ang other um, components medyo same na lang sila. Okay, ang difference lang yun is mordant, tergitol. Please take note. And cold method known as your kinyun. Staining. So, if na mga crush dira again, na mga fling, mga bet dira na medyo cold na ganimo reply, i change na ng nickname sa imuhang uh, chat. Kin yun na. Okay, butang yun na kin yun. Okay, alright, higher. Okay, Mark, single na lagi ka, wala kayo magamitan ani. Okay, charot, alright. Okay, now we go now to your oramine rhodamine. As you can see, um, yeah, di ba, remember sa ato ang. Fluoro fluorescence microscopy, di ba? We have discussed a fluorochrome oramine rhodamine. And I mentioned ako dito, usually gigamit siya for MTB, right? Mycobacterium. Now, for oramine rhodamine, it uses again the stain oramine O or oramine O and rhodamine B, okay? And decolorizer still is acid alcohol, but it's not as strong that uh, not as strong as used in the hot or cold methods. And your quenching agent or counter stain is potassium permanganate. So, medyo different na ilahang mga reagents, ani. So, ang, put, ang point sa quenching agent by the name itself, it quenches excess fluorescence. So, if na mga excess na fluorescence, iyang wala on. And the non-AFB do not fluoresce. Okay? So, that's, ex that's very important. Because again, para ang mo fluoresce rag yun, or if na kay color na makitan, then those are just only the MTB or the bacilli. Wala na lying organism. Okay? So, again, that's potassium permanganate. Alright, so, here's an example of oramine rhodamine. So, kanina mga gitudlo, di ba? Muna siya ang imuhang, um, muna, siya, muna na siya imuhang uh, MTB, kaning gitudlo, kanang araw. Di ba? Muna siya, muna siya dili sila, no? Muna siya, I don't know, muna siya orange na mga stuff. Yeah. Okay. And it works like eggs of fish. Charot na. Okay. Alright. But again, kaning point ko na siyang MTB. Okay. Color orange. Okay. And next, you have your modified acid fast staining. Now, when you say modified acid, uh, modified, um, by the name itself, modified. So, ang um, original procedures acid fast staining, atong gi modify. And how is it modified? Nigawas po ni sa boards da. What is the difference between modified acid fast staining and acid fast staining? Um, the difference is the decolorizer. Um, it's much more, uh, it's much weaker, okay, compared sa um, normal na acid fast procedure. Weaker, meaning mas um, delicate siya strong, okay? Alright? Um, again, this is used for partially acid fast organisms. Because again, partially acid fast, they don't really have that much of mycolic acids compared to mycobacterium, which is your true acid fast, diba? So therefore, medyo butangan po na nag, um, ato pong pa, ipa less intensify ato ang procedure. That's why we use a lesser, um, strength na decolorizer. Okay? And that's 2% sulfuric acid. And this gentler um, decolorizer um, avoids over-decolorization. Over so, alvujanto. <laughs> okay, alvujanto. Okay, so gentler ang decolorizer. Alvujanto. Okay, so gentle, gentler ang decolorizer, weaker ang decolorizer sa modified acid fast compared to the original acid fast na procedure. Okay, that's the difference. Alright, again, para asa ni modified acid fast for your partially acid fast organisms. Kinsa to mga partially acid fast bacteria, bacteria and GRT. No, Cardia, Gordonia, Rhodococcus, and Chukamurella. Do Corrini bacteria, Corrini bacterium have mycolic acids? Yes na man, yes na yes. Okay. Streptomyces. Do streptomyces have mycolic acids? Wala. Wiz, Khalifa, et. Okay, alright. Ayan. Okay. And kasi ito mga partially acid fast na parasites, your intestinal coccidians, cryptosporidium, cyclospora, and cystoisospora. Okay. Alright, now we go now to the procedure of Zeal-Nielsen. First is, of course, ato sa siyang idol. Usually, mag-stain mag mi og sa sotopod and maybe sa atong lab activity, um, we usually stain them by batch or kanang daghan. Kay it would save time kaysa mag-individual ka. So, if mag-batch ka, we line it up on a rack, okay? And then, dapat ang ihang distance is one uh, finger, uy, one finger from each slide, okay? Alright? Next is, of course, you apply now the primary stain, which is your carbo carbofuxin. So, ato na siyang i-flood, um, okay, with carbofuxin. Um, after, of course, you wash it with water. Ah, uh, oh, no, delete pa dahi, sorry. You heat sa with um, your flame until a steam um, is observed. Kanin siya, guys, dili na siya enzymada. <laughs> or siya enzymada. Or sopaw. So, this is an alcohol lamp and kanin siya ang steam. Okay, sorry naman. Okay, so that's an alcohol lamp and um, steam. Okay? So, you heat until the steam appears and after na ano steam na appear, leave it for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, you wash again with tap water lang. Okay? To, para mawala tong primary stain. Next, you um, decolorize now with acid alcohol 
flood and leave for 3 minutes. After na for 3 minutes, wash na pud with tap water. And next, after washing, apply na the counter stain, which is methylene blue, um, and flood and leave for 1 minute. And then, after 1 minute, of course, wash na pud with tap water. Same with gram staining, DI guys. Wala na ko na mention. Kada step na to, like after the stain, for te- uh, for how many minutes? After gina na, wash gina with water, okay? Kaya unsaon mo pagbutang sa next na stain or reagent. If na apatong or uh, na una na stain, di ba? So wash gina siya every time with tap water. After every reagent for its specified time, okay? Alright. And so muna siya ang last part, to wash again until muna siya ang um, resulting color sa imong sphere. Again, oval siya. 3 cm long, 2 cm wide. And your counter stain which is methylene blue, okay? And muna siya ang imong final na mga results, alright? Um, imo na siyang i-set up of course imong label um, as you can see di ba oval iyahang um, itsura color blue ang um, imuhang um, imuhang resulting na color because again dili na siya red because um, gidecolorize man imo siya di ba um, so dili jud red ang ang counter stain na ang matake up sa imuhang smear overall and inside the smear dira na makit-an ang mga red na mga acid fast bacilli if na amang gani okay all right and of course do not forget the label and ato na siyang i um, pasunod usually. Okay? Alright. Now, we go now to uh, microscopic examination. Um, we first examine in LPO the quality of the sample. Okay? And if suitable na siya, we now go to um, OIO, oil immersion, for 300 fields. And then we count the number of AFB seen and then report the grading. Okay? Alright. So, first we um, we examine or we check the quality of the specimen. So, we have these different um uh, terms, right? So first we have salivary. We don't examine salivary because the ganra ka ayo ang squamous epithelial cells, which means na since the ganra ng squamous epithelial cells less ang PMNs or polymorphonuclear um, leukocytes, which are your neutrophils, that could mean infection. Mas gamay man siya, meaning the specimen could be gikan lang sa mouth. Dilidu siya gikan sa sa lower respiratory respiratory tract. So which could mean na walay AFB kayo na makitan. Okay, so reject. For local material, less than 25, less than 10, so medyo equal ra ang number. So that would mean na um, naas ubos jud medyo lower, lower RT ang, ang, ang specimen gikan. So therefore, mas makakita ta o acid fast bacilli. So for purulent, again, mas daghan ang infect ang PMNs, your again neutrophils. So mas na ay significant siya of infection or signifying infection than your epithelial cell. So therefore, I examine jud nato siya. Kay na ongoing infection na nahitabo sa body, which means, which could be due to MTB, di ba? And of course, if daghan na po kaayo PMNs and um, squamous epithelial cells, then it could be mixed na ang sample. Pwede naabit na siya sputum, pero na, na mix po siya o sputum from the mouth or kanangikan lang sa mouth. So, contaminated na yung specimen, okay? Alright, so ato na examine, kinsa to, local material and purulent. Less than 25 PMNs and uh, less than 10 uh, squamous epithelial cells and greater than 25 PMNs, less than 10. How do I remember, remember this? Kung unsa na examine Of course, it's imperative na kung daghan ang nucle, uh, neutrophils or your PMNs, examine dyan nato na. And dapat, gamay po ang squamous epithelial cells. And for local material, how do I remember? Basta gani, medyo gagmay ra sila each other or medyo equal-equal ng number. Then of course, ato na siyang examine Again, for salivary, mas daghan ang squamous epithelial cells kaysa uh, PMNs, reject. And if daghan na sila together, mixed na ang specimen. So we don't um, examine that. Because again, medyo may be contaminated na yung specimen, liso na nato i-isolate um, or makitaan ang mga AFB. Kaya natabunan na sa other mga material. Okay? Alright. So if okay na yung muhang, uh, under LPO ni siya ha, low power objective. So if <clears throat> okay na siya, we now proceed to OIO for um, examination. Now, muna siya ang purpose sa imuhang um, purpose sa imuhang uh, oval or 3cm by 2cm because again we want to um, examine it systematically so we read for the first line and one um, one uh, one in a well-made smear muna siya ang importance nung, dapat well-made siya because from one point to another point that's equivalent to about 150 fields okay and to report a negative na AFB we need to read at least pila 300 fields before you report a negative. So, kung 300, so that is 150, mo down ka gamay, then that's another 150, pabalik dito. Okay? So, basically, that's 300 fields. So, in a, in a normal 
Example, if ang patient yun is daghan ka ayong AFB in one field, pwede na yung modili humano na siya until the end. If usa ka field palang daan, daghan na ka makita, then that could be 4 plus na yun dayon. You don't need to padayon na yun dito. But most of the time, we make padayon na lang. Ang konyo mo, Mark, we make padayon until the end kasi it's very important naman that we finish, di ba? Okay. But how many fields should we read before we report a negative results? 300 fields. And one line, okay, of from end to end of your um, smear, pila na siya ka fields equivalent to 150 fields. Okay. All right. Okay. So, move ta each field, di ba? So, kada field na to atong examine if na ay, um, na ay, um, acid fast ba sila? Sa Buhol, sa Galdares, katong tig read sa AFB, smears, ang gina, ang giinan may niya how to um, examine. Mag-write daw na paper, then mo write ka. So, one, that's for the first field, two, three, and uh, until 150 na field. And then, kada field, imo account pila ka AFB. So, example, three daw, uh, na two, and ana. Uh, that will help you as, or that will serve as a guide for you when it comes to grading. Okay, all right. Ayan. Okay, so here's an example of um, the specimen. As you can see, unacceptable ang diri because mas daghan ang squamous epithelial cells compared sa imuhang white blood cells. Can you guys, those are your PMNs, as you can see. Neutrophils na siya, oh. Okay. Can you guys, klaro kay epithelial cells, di ba? So unacceptable ang specimen. Okay. Alright, now for arrangements, your AFB can be in clumps. Pwede po silang appearing singly, pwede po silang in pairs, okay? Basta, or curved, granular, yeah. Basta color red, gani, color red organism against a blue background, then that could be your um, AFB. <clears throat> okay, alright. Okay, now for reporting, this is what we follow, um, and sa DOH po. There are other um, reporting, na CDC na reporting, na I... Um, so, put the line of reporting. But there are different reporting. But kanila kong is show because this is what we follow code. So, um, how do we report? Again, at least 300 fields. If wala ju kay nakita an AFB and any from the first to the 300, then that's zero. Next one is um, for the first 100 fields, diba? You mentioned ako tong paper. If makabut ka 100 fields and then nakay nakita na bisag um, consistent ba? Consistent na. From 1 to 100, kay 3, 3, or 9. So, you report that as plus. 9 or plus 2. Okay, alright? Do not be confused with 1 plus, 2 plus, and 3 plus. For 1 plus mang good, um, in the 100 fields, makita ni mo na na ay 10, 11, 12. So, dili siya consistent na 10. Sa first field na ay 10. Sa second field na ay, like example, 20. Inana. So, if in ana gani siya, it's within 10 to 99 for 100 fields, then that's 1 plus. Tung 2 plus, so 50 fields palang daan, nakita na ni mo na na 10. So example, 1 to 50. Sige kag 10, uh, 9, uh, 10, 9, 10. Muna kong nasa video, okay. 1, 2, okay. <laughs> okay, so example, in ana, pag sa 50, if in ana na yung mong nakitaan, then that's 2 plus. And kung 3 plus, more than 10 palang um, in at least 20 fields. So mag-count ka, di ba, from 1 to 20, niya, in at least um, within the 20 fields, makakita kang daghan ka yung more than 10 then 3 plus na yun na. Usually, kung 3 plus, guys, sa uh, first field palang daan mo, greater than 10 na na. Promise. Promise, good. Okay. That's 3 plus. Okay? I hope na gets your ungrading. Alright? So, that's what we follow. Do not be confused, any guys, sa kaning plus N and mga 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus. Okay. Alright, so again, that's the reporting from WHON, International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease. And mo po yung ginafollow sa DOH. Mo po yung reporting sa Soto and Calyares. Okay? Alright. Now, um, for QC, again, of routine staining, again, the purpose of QC, we want to make sure that all our results that we release in lab are medically accurate and reliable, diba? So, for QC, again, um, all laboratories performing AFB smear microscopy, ideally, dapat daily, but if daily, kaya daily, weekly, and dapat na positive control na smear um, na one plus lang. Okay, so, um, i-check nato na siya for its staining characteristics and iyahang... Uh, color and number sa AFB. And we always record the results of our QC in a register. Para again, ma-monitor na to if kanang consistent trabata na okay ra atong QC or unsabay dili. Inana. Okay? Alright. That's for QC. Now, ways to facilitate acid fast staining, meaning um, para murag mas mo, uh, mo enhance or mas ma-okay atong procedure, pwede tang mo steaming process ato i-prolong ba or ato i-decrease, uh, again, depending on the need. Um, increasing concentration of phenol and basic fuchsin, again, because that would facilitate the staining, okay, or the reaction between the cells and the stain. 
prolonging the contact time, of course, of the scene with the material para mas, um, mas mo absorb siguro ang cell with the carbol fuchsin ba or the stain. And of course, we add mga tergitol and wetting agents. Because again, your tergitol and wetting agents, di ba, sa Kenyon method, which can serve as a more than. So further solidifying the relationship or the interaction between the stain and the cells. Okay? All right. And we have um, other methods. You have two types. You have Pappenheim's method. We differentiate M. smegmatis, which is color blue, from MTB na red. Okay? Ang decolorizer name is rosolic acid and alcohol mixture. Okay? We just want to differentiate. Because M. smegmatis, if I'm not mistaken, um, another MTB or mycobacterium na, um, you know, na uh, species that may cause TB. If I'm not mistaken, ha? M. smegmatis. Blue siya in Pappenheim's method and MTB, which is red. And you have Baumgarten's MTB, again, uh, blue na po this time, from M. lepre, na color red. And your primary stain is dilute alcoholic fuchsin. Okay. So, Baumgarten's, how do you remember? Di ba ang M. lepre, na mention ako sa culture media, um, uh, asa siya i-culture na to? Sa footpads of armadillo. Now, sa armadillo daw, daghang armadillo sa garden. So, Baumgarten's, for its gardens. Okay. So, muna siya. M. lepre is red, MTB is color blue. Okay, Baumgarten's and Pappenheim's method. So, other methods lang. To differentiate um, other species of mycobacterium from MTB. Okay? Alright. And that is the end for acid-fast staining. Um, medyo taas mo siya na discussion. But um, for public health students, na ako medyo, ano ito siya, review, hopefully. But for the new ones, then of course, um, ano lang, new, uh, internalized lang, no? Study at your own pace, no? Try to internalize them as you go along as you study. But again, that's for acid-fast staining. It's a differential staining, saint gram staining. And again, when I say colors atong acid-fast organisms, they are color red. And for non-acid-fast organisms, color blue or green. Okay, kinsa tong hot method, Zeal-Nielsen method. Ang cold method, para sa inyo hang chatanay sa crush, Kinyun method. Partially acid-fast bacteria, NGRT, Nocardia, Gordonia, Rhodococcus, and Chukamorella. And partially acid-fast parasites, your intestinal coccidians, cryptosporidium, cyclospora, and cystoisospora. All right. Okay, so that's the end for bacterial identification through smear preparation and staining. Okay, so we'll now, I'll see you on the next, I'll see you on the other side of the war. I'll see you on um, our next lecture na pun, okay, in bacteriology. So have a great day, guys. No, study well. Laban turger and always, always, wash your hands. All right. <laughs>